of the first Investec test here at Lords, and I'm in the Investec pavilion looking at how the Investec test tracker portrayed the day's play. England, of course, 354 for seven at the end of it. But let's look at the, the tools here at our disposal of the Investec test tracker and see what it tells us. Firstly, you can see from the match stats from the scorecard from the chain of the day that uh, England, after just after 10 overs, had lost four wickets. And that was a, a desperate situation to be in. Obviously, the New Zealanders would have been pleased at that point that they put England into bat because those four wickets fell. First Adam Lyde, then Gary Balance, then the captain Alistair Cook and finally Ian Bell. England reeling at 30 for four. But then after the 11th over no wickets fell at all until after the 40th over when the partnership between Ben Stokes and Joe Root really resurrected the position for England and actually they put on 151 excellent runs. Uh, let's have a look at the, uh, their shot in particular, the wagon wheels of Joe Root and Ben Stokes. This is Ben Stokes' wagon wheel, and you can see a lot of shots through the leg side here. Those powerful clips through the leg side, I thought that was a feature of his innings, the way he hit good length balls off the stumps through the onside for boundaries. Forceful, great timing, real kind of initiative seizing innings from Ben Stokes. He deserved 100 and he was out just in the 90s. Joe Root had really provided the platform before that, and his innings was more more deft in a way, lots more shots behind the wicket, a few square drives here for four, remember he's a right hander whereas Stokes is left handed, and playing the ball much later but also the purpose, the energy that Joe Root showed really got England back on course after those loss of those first four wickets. How did the uh, partnership 150 show in the momentum of the day's play. This is the test tracker seeing how it goes from one side to the other. We've got the midline here and at the start of the day you can see England losing those four wickets, dipping right into the red if you like here, New Zealand on top. But then gradually the Root and Stokes partnership getting England over the midline and into some kind of uh, credit in a way and then gradually wickets falling towards the end of the day but England perhaps on top so Joe Root and Ben Stokes together putting on 151 and we can see the, the influence they had on the day's play in the profiles here and uh, Joe Root number five in the order, total runs 98, so he had 27.68% of England's runs today whereas Stokes had 25.99, so between them over 50% of England's runs. How did their partnership affect the overall position of the day's play in terms of the momentum? Well, you can see at the start of the day, England with losing those four wickets really dipped into the red, and uh, 30 for four, New Zealand were very much on top. But gradually, the, the Root-Stokes partnership pulled back England's position so that in the end, they were actually in credit uh, and actually looking on top of the game for sort of, like, an hour or so in mid-afternoon. Then Stokes and Root and one or two other wickets fell. Then Moen Ali and Joss Butler picked up the position again and played positively and I think that was the message throughout the day was England really looked to be positive even when they were losing wickets. They tried to get the initiative back and that Joss Butler achieved that until right at the end of the day he was out off the last ball and so actually England dipped just fractionally into the red with that loss of that last wicket. But you'd say having looked at that, that actually they were pretty pleased with the day's play and it's all to play for.